YouTube, 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 what it do? It's your boy Big Trev G. I got a video for y'all. First off, happy Father's Day to all the fathers. And happy Juneteenth to everybody that's celebrating Juneteenth today. It's a perfect opportunity to share this information, but I need y'all to go check out Karimio video on Juneteenth and also tap in with legendary Big Chief Top Cat. They're gonna go in a lot deeper than I am. This one's gonna be short and sweet, but I need y'all to hit the like button, subscribe, make sure y'all share the video. On July 19th, 1865, General Granger announced the end of slavery at Galveston, Texas, a day referred to as Juneteenth. Galveston was not just a random or haphazard place picked to announce the emancipation of slaves in Texas. It was a territory harboring a slave trading empire refusing to give up slaves and broke away from Mexico because slavery had been abolished and insisted Texans free all slaves within six months of settlement. And the succession produced the Republic of Texas. Galveston Island was a slavery empire founded by French pirate John Lafette. He was financed by two brothers, Jewish traders, Joa and Morin de la Porta. They were known as Caroncoa traders and supercargoes for Lafette. Growing incredibly wealthy and decimating the Indian population, all called Caroncoa and subsequently a great many were called African or black slaves. Pirate John Lafette was targeted eventually by the U.S. Navy and fled Galveston in 1821 with his mulatto wife and son. So as y'all can see, the Karankawa Indians was reclassified as African and Negro slaves and Juneteenth has to do with them. But y'all get in the comment section, let me know what y'all think about this. Be sure to follow us at Historical Indigenous Sites on IG. Get at me on TPTV2 Live. Like and share the video. Aight.